The interview is directed by Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen and stars Seth Rogen and James Franco and has the controversial plot of two people who are the producers and the host of a interview show that are asked to come interview Kim Jong-un because he's such a big fan of this show and the CIA goes, hey, here's an opportunity to assassinate this guy. Let's do it. And from then on in, we've had an endless string of unnecessary controversies surrounding a comedy movie with Seth Rogen. Come on. But I'm going to push all that aside because I'm here to talk about the movie. I'm not going to think about the controversy. I'm not going to let the hype affect me. I'm going to approach this film as if I had never even heard of it and it was just a film that came on and I watched it. Right off the bat, the best thing about this movie is the chemistry between Seth Rogen and James Franco. These guys play off each other marvelously, particularly James Franco, who knocks it out of the park in this movie. This might be the funniest I've ever seen him in a movie where he just plays an idiot because he's always kind of the silly man to Seth Rogen's straight man, like in Pineapple. Express. And in this movie, it's definitely the same. Rogan's the serious one and Franco's the idiotic one. And it just works. Franco is brilliant in this movie. He is just throwing out comedy gold almost every second. At least for the first 30 minutes. For the first 30 minutes, I thought this was one of the funniest movies I've seen all year. Then in the middle portion, it gets a little bit bogged down by CIA espionage and spy stuff that isn't quite as funny and is not really as entertaining as I think they wanted it to be. But towards the third act, it definitely picks up and becomes a lot more funny again. But there is a weighted down second act in this movie that I didn't find terribly funny. It did have some good jokes. It did have some funny parts. But for the most part, the first and the third act by far shine as the best parts of this movie. The writing is very clever, although admittedly very sophomoric, but it works because you just recognize that they're just going for it. They're just throwing themselves at the mercy of the audience. This movie isn't an assault on one particular country because this movie definitely goes after the US quite a bit, particularly the satire elements towards the media. This movie has quite a bit to say about what makes news headlines nowadays. It actually has a lot of cool statements about that. The opening few scenes featuring a couple celebrity cameos really back that up because they have like these headlines that are just, you know, crazy, but it's the kind of stuff you see, like you're scrolling through the news and, oh my gosh, this famous person walked out of their door. I mean, just today I was on Facebook and it was like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie allow their son to choose his name. Uh, that's news? Really? And the interview definitely has a huge huge impact and it's just like totally assaulting the media and that's honestly one of the biggest things this movie attacks and that's one of the smartest aspects of this movie the way it pokes fun at stuff the United States does that's dumb. So Rogan and Franco are fantastic together the comedy is definitely there for a large portion of the movie but it is kind of bogged down by a sort of middling second act that kind of meanders for a while that doesn't really know what it is at first and then it kind of regains its footing in the third act. I also think it's a movie that's shrouded by completely unnecessary controversy, and it's cool that we're getting to see it. You know, it's available on VOD right now on YouTube and Google Play, and tomorrow it's going to be opening nationwide in select theaters, very few select theaters, so it's going to be out there. I'm going to give the interview a B. I do think it's funny. It's not as funny as it could be. There are moments where it drags a little bit, but overall, I think the chemistry between Franco and Rogan, and particularly Franco's awesome comedic performance in this movie, saved the whole thing. So guys, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Let me know below, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>